Hey, how are you two? Today we are going to learn how to program the Hobbywin Quick Run 1080. My name is Santiago Salinas and this is the Stuff RC. Please subscribe. The Quick Run 1080 is, if not the best, one of the best ESCs for brush motors in the crawler hobby. In the case of the first generation, it comes with 15 programmable items that give us a lot of versatility on how to customize this ESC based on our preference, either for rock crawling or for trailing. For this video, we'll use our Belly Dragger XEX10 building project. So this is the, the VSC we are programming today. What do we need to program this ESC? First, of course, the ESC. Then we need the program card, the wire to connect the program card to the ESC, and a LiPo battery. First, we are going, we're gonna plug this wire to this card. The slot work that you need to use is the one on the left in the in, in the case of, of, of this video. And you you have to make sure that actually the black wire goes to the negative symbol right here. There you go. Then we want to plug the other end into the ESC. If you notice, also the ESC comes with, with the same symbols you, you, you will find in the, in the program card. So you have to follow the same, the same logic. Black wire with negative, negative symbol. Okay, it's done. Finally, let's plug our battery. And let's turn on the vehicle. When you turn it, turn it on, you will see that the numbers in the program card will turn on. The logic behind this program card is the ESC, as I mentioned, comes with 15 different uh, programmable options. So the numbers on the left will run from 1 to 15. And the numbers on the right will be the, the, the value of the option value you want to set in the ESC. Hobbywin is giving us this chart with the 15 programmable items, the values we can set on them, and the effect that value will have in the ESC. For this particular project, I will use these values for each item. The item number one is running mode. In this case, Hobbywing is giving us three different option, options. The first one is forward and brake that is meant for racing. So we, we don't need that. Uh, the second one is forward reverse and brake that's for training. And the third one is more suitable for crawlers. So this is the one, this is okay. So to jump to the next uh, programmable item, we have to press item. So you jump to the second one. In this case is the battery type. We I'll be running in with lipos, so value number one is, is is okay. Next one is the is cutoff voltage. From factory it comes with value three. That's uh, an auto medium uh, cutoff uh, that I would recommend this one in order to preserve the, the life of your battery. So we are good with that one. Let's jump to the item number. Four. Four, we have initial star force. Uh, in this case, uh, from factory comes with a uh, value three. Yet, in this case, I prefer to have zero percent in order to have a, a a better performance with the star force. Item number five, max, max forward force. I want all the power this thing can give me, so I will stick to the value four. Let's go to the item number six, max reverse force. 
I also like to have all the power I can I can I can get from this stuff. Let's see. Let's set it in four. Item number seven. Max Brake Force. Actually, it comes from factory as uh, with the maximum value. I will stick with it. Let's jump to item number eight. Initial Brake Force. Uh, I will stay with the factory value once again. Item number nine. Drag Brake. This comes from factory with the maximal value. This is a rock crawler, so I'm happy with that. The next one, item number 10. This is drag brake rate. This is how, how fast or how aggressive the drag brake will kick once one is, is, is active. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one in four, which is a, a, a mid-range uh, rate that I think is, is the best one. Item number 11, what is the number 11? Is a uh, neutral range. Actually, I'm gonna stick with the factory value. Um, so let's move forward. Item number 12, this is a star mode punch. This is how Punchy, I want my 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 truck. Um, if it is too punchy, you will have troubles when you are that those those uh, tactical uh, crawlings. Uh, so I will stay in the medium value, uh, which is the one the one uh, that came from factory. Maybe with time I, I will play a little bit with this one, but right now five is good. Number 13, uh, we have the PWM frequency. I will stay in four since it's the one that actually came from, from factory. I'm, I'm not sure how to play with this with this setting. Then uh, item number 14, this is the VSC voltage. In my case, you can you can you can choose between uh, Six volts and 7.4. In my case, with this servo, I want to be 7.4. Okay. And the last one is free wheeling. That with the item number 15. With the free wheeling, what's the best way to explain this? Uh, with this one, the meaning is not that actually if you are downhilling, the truck will just start moving by itself, right? Because you have free wheels. Uh, for the contrary, what gener it generates is a balance between the drag, the drag brake and the, the throttle when you are moving forward, when you are downhilling. So I'll, I'll be uh, able it. Sorry for that. Let me go back to the 15. Uh, let's move it to one. And let's press OK. OK, let's take a look if everything is OK. So we have item number one in three, and item number two in one, item number three in three, we are good. Item number four in one, we are good. Item number five in four, we are good there. Item number six in four, we are good there. Item number seven in nine, eight, one, Nine, nine, ten, four, eleven, four, twelve, five, uh huh, fourteen, two, and okay. There you go. There you got it. So now let's press okay. Let's turn it off and let's unplug this. There you go guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. As I mentioned, this logic applies for both, for the first generation and the second generation of the 1080. Um, these are the values that I think uh, will work best for me, yet uh, time will tell if, if we, I have to adjust something in, in this truck. So, my name is Santiago Salinas, this is the Stop RC, please subscribe, and see you next time with the final episode of this building project. Take care. Thank you.